Hi everyone, welcome to Perceptions, the channel that it's all about perfume perceptions. Today we are going to talk about Versace D Dylan Blue. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Versace. No, it's a flanker of Dylan Blue, it's Dylan Purple. Um, the new flanker of the Dylan line from Versace. This is for the summer, to be honest, I think, but let's talk about it now because it's been released uh, some weeks or months ago, we can say by now. Uh, before getting into it, if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. Here, it's all about perfumes. I have dozens and dozens of videos about perfumes, so check them out. And if you like what I'm saying, um, please consider subscribing and, uh, you know, let me know what you think, uh, suggestions about perfumes to try and so on. Um, and if you're coming back, I hope this video will be interesting for you as well, and I'm really happy to have you here again. Thank you for your support. So, let's talk about this. I'll try to be very quick, because of course it's just a sample, I don't have a full bottle, so I cannot really give you, you know, a very detailed explanation. But, let's start from the notes. So on the top we have bitter orange, and you can actually smell a bit of it, it's really like a tad, it's a touch, but it gives that interesting twist to the opening. And then you have this pear juice accord, this is the, it's mind-blowing. And um, it's, um, it's, it's the, you know, it's forefront, it's the most noticeable <laughs> accord in the top. Really, it's like the... The top accord in the on the top of the perfume in the opening of the perfume you're gonna essentially smell this pear juice accord a tad 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 of bitter orange it's like just a touch to make it interesting for a twist and bergamot i cannot detect the bergamot to be honest <laughs> i'm so so much taken away from the that fantastic pear juice accord it's like a williams pears and juicy you know it, that's why they say pear juice accord right and then in the middle we have purple freesia, puma rose and mahoniel. Mahoniel is like a white flower kind of thing. Um, it's also in Limitless Shopping by Trussardi. Uh, it's a very beautiful, that's also a very beautiful uh, scent. With, uh, I actually have to shoot a video about my Trussardi line. Um, and so essentially, this is essentially clean floral. So the heart of the perfume is clean floral with some um, touches like a slight, so slight, you know, very slight, very slight touches of um, fruits. Um, maybe this pomeros, maybe there's some apple, maybe. Uh, and then in the try down, you have these musky accords with um, a lot of fixative, essentially, ice on super, um, ambrofix, Delam, silkolid. And I don't know how to pronounce that, <laughs> especially this silkolite, salicolite, I have no idea. Uh, salicolite, don't know, don't ask me. And then cedar wood. Um, essentially, what I can tell you is that the opening is stunning, really stunning, but it lasts like five minutes. The heart of the perfume is clean, so clean, fresh flora, with some, you know, very, 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 very slight fruit touches. And then the dry down is musky essentially, um, and it keeps this clean vibe, clean fresh vibe. So this is a perfume that I see very well for summertime, especially for the evening, because, you know, because it's not like uh, citrusy fresh, it's not like uh, incredibly uplifting, but it is clean and fresh. So, you know, after a sweaty day, you take your shower, you put this on and you feel fresh and uplifted for the night. And this is quite strong, you know, like it has some presence, so it will make you smell clean and fresh the whole night, and people will notice it. So that's a kind of crowd-pleasing perfume. Um, it's not out there, there's nothing special about it, there's nothing uh, innovative, you know, like, uh, well, I mean, there's a bunch of very innovative molecules. Uh, that these are very much used in many perfumes, but maybe they are not so, you know, upfront with their usage, um, but that said, um, what I want to say is that it's a fresh, clean, fruity, floral perfume, masking the um, dry down. 
um, usually this line and these perfumes they have good performance indeed they're using very good fixatives um, I think also you can you know you can rely on it for projection also as a you know as a sample it really does project you know one small sample spray and oh that's strong um so yeah i haven't tested you know properly because i don't have a bottle so i can't really properly test the performance but this is obviously something strong um you know we know how it is when you spray samples there are some samples that are very weak and some samples that are very strong and this is on the more on the very strong side of things not extremely strong but it is strong more than average um yeah that's about it i mean i think the opening is stunning i mean i would just go to the perfumery shop to test the opening because it's really really nice if you like pear of course you know there are many many too many perfumes with a pear accord in the opening but this one is top the best i've smelled so far um and then in the middle again clean fresh clean fresh flora you know when floras are used to be clean fresh and then again, clean fresh also in the dry on musky and other things. I think it's super pleasant. There's nothing innovative. It's a designer scent, uh, mass appealing, uh, mass pleasing. You're gonna get compliments for how clean and fresh you're smelling, especially in summertime. And that's it. So, if you liked the video, if it was helpful, if it's been helpful for you, um, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Activate the notification bell. And um, what else? See you in my next one. Bye.